All right, welcome to another short and simple Xactimate tutorial. This is part two of our sketch basics. If you did not see part one, uh, you please go back and check that out. We're going to be picking up where we left off. We are here in our sketch pad on our Xactimate, and we have one room built. Next thing we're going to do is add another room but instead of using this room feature I want to show you how to do that with just walls so let's go here and left click on our walls we are going to left click any area that we need to start the wall we'll drag it out to the dimension that we need to and then we'll left click again and then we will have the ability to pull it again in whatever direction that we need to the dimension that we need and then we'll left click again and then once again we can pull it in the direction that we need and you can do angles as well so I'm just going to pull this all the way back and we're going to left click one last time and it will automatically create this room for us again we're going to name this room another way to name it is you can right click on it rename the room and let's name this master bedroom. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to add doors. So if you come here to our doorway, you'll see that we have a drop down and you can choose what type of door it is, whether it be standard, bifold, or sliding, and so on. So we're going to say we have a standard door here. We'll left click it once, come down. We'll left click to put the door where we need to. And then we can change the dimensions by left clicking on these little red squares and pulling this to the dimension that we need. You can also left click on this blue square and you can pull the door to the area that it needs to be if it's not open. The next thing I want to show you is how to add multiple levels. So you see here we're on our main level and that means we're on the bottom floor. So if you are working on a two story house, you will click here on this little plus sign and you will add your level two. You'll see that we still have the imprint from our first level. So this will help you keep your second level in line with your first level. So let's add another room. Again, you can line it up with the bottom floor to make this whatever dimension it needs to be. I'm just creating hypothetical dimensions. And let's name this room. next thing I want to show you is how to add cabinets to your rooms. So if you come up here to where it says block, click on your drop down, you'll see you have your lower cabinets, your upper cabinets, your full cabinets, and your corner cabinets. Uh, let's add a lower cabinet here. So you'll bring this down, drop it where it needs to go, pull it to the dimension that you need it to. And that's how you identify cabinets and your sketch. And because these videos are supposed to be short and simple, I'm going to stop this video right here. If you guys want a third video, please comment down below and I will add a part three. Other than that, these are just the basics for your sketch. Obviously, it can go pretty detailed, but I just wanted to show you an introductory to how to start using your sketch in Xactimate. Thanks for watching.